Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Here we're going to show you one of the best combinations of metal and wood that you can ever have back in the 1950s. I'll show it to you in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today we are going to show you one of those absolutely stunning vehicles that everyone talks about or heard about. It's called a Woody. We have a 1952 Buick Super. Super meaning it's got one, two, three vent holes, which helps you easily identify a Super versus a Roadmaster, which has four of those things. But it is a Super Estate Woody Wagon. I'll tell you what, I've never seen one, and I mean, you just probably, there weren't a whole lot of these produced when they were new due to the fact that I suppose the, the wood was falling out of disfavor at that time because it was a lot more uh, labor involved. So what we're looking at here is an absolutely beautiful Sequoia cream car that absolutely has all the chrome done. This is a completely restored car from top to bottom. We've got the big straight eight, the 263 straight eight engine in it with all original type uh, 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 details under the hood, original air cleaner. The only thing that they did a little different, which, uh, you know, in this day and age, I kind of actually like, they added vintage air conditioning. I'll tell you what, on one of those 90 plus degree days, wherever you're at, having air conditioning in a station wagon probably make it a very much more pleasant drive. Uh, as you can see, it has the wide white walls, uh, the full upgraded uh, hubcaps, which would be the deluxe version for 1952. Wire wheels were not available until 53. But again, the Buick has such a, a very uh, recognizable front end, uh, extra bumper guardettes on it, the really neat uh, hood ornament that uh, is uh, reminiscent of uh, uh, jet engines, if you will. That's what they were kind of trying to do back in the day. Uh, again, a beautiful interior, oxblood red leather interior, uh, both the, the, the door panels, the dash, all the chrome in the inside is as original, which is really nice to run into in this day and age, one that someone hasn't quote unquote turned into a resto mod. Nothing against them, but I mean, if you find a Woody such as this, you'll want to keep it as close to original as you can. And uh, we're looking at the wood, the overall quality and door fits on this car are absolutely beautiful. We were. I always check that before you buy a Woody to make sure that you don't have door hanging or sagging or any of uh, the wood rot that this car has been known to have in the old days if they weren't taken care of. But this particular car has been well, well taken care of. Automatic on the column, of course, makes it really pleasant thing to drive as well. But uh, yeah, you can just look at this car and go, it is really stellar with the old wood. You can just see someone having a, <clears throat> A surfboard hanging out the back and the Beach Boys singing a song of some sort. But uh, overall, uh, you know, you can look at all of our inventory at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com or you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. The other thing that I always enjoy is if you really have a hankering to come and look at 100 plus really beautiful cars and trucks and resto mods for sale, come and visit us any day of the week here at Ellington Motor Cars. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5. Love to have you come in in person and take a look. But yeah, I guess we were all talking amongst ourselves here saying, when's the last time you actually seen one of these? And I've never seen one of these in Minnesota. So come and take a look. If you want something that the neighbors would have been proud to see you pull into the driveway back in 1952. And guess what? 2020, you pull in the driveway with this, it'll bring just about the same reaction, probably better.